guys, Miss Tasha here. I'm excited to study in the Bible with you today. But first, I have something I want to show you. I have here a lamp. Okay, it's just an ordinary lamp. It's plugged in right now. Um, but it has a cord that's connected to an outlet up there. So what do you think would happen if I unplugged it? And then I tried to turn it on again doesn't work, right? It has to be plugged into that power source up there, that outlet. So, see, now it's working. And someone who follows God, who wants to be obedient to him, but doesn't actually talk to him, is kind of like a lamp that isn't plugged in. And if we say that we want to follow God and be obedient to him and walk in step with Jesus, we need to talk to God. We need to be like a lamp that is plugged in. And, and when we are connected to God, we can hear his voice clearly. We have peace in knowing um, that we're being obedient and we're doing the good work that he asks us to do. Um, and also, we shine light to those who are around us. So. Um, in our story today, we get to hear about Jesus teaching about prayer. We see um, him teaching his disciples about this very subject. And today, we're specifically in Luke chapter 11, verse 1 through 13. And then we'll talk about another chapter in Luke a little bit later. But first, I want you to read there. Luke 11, 1 through 13. Welcome back. So in our story, we learn several things about prayer. Jesus teaches us a way to pray, specifically in the first part of chapter 11. He also tells us of somebody who goes to a friend's house and asks boldly for three loaves of bread. And because he asks boldly, he is given what he asked for. And Jesus tells us in this passage, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened. He's saying, Ask God for what you need. Ask God for the things that are um, good and in his purpose for you. Ask for those things. He wants to hear from you. And we also see that he's a good father. So in the story, it talks about how fathers, if their son asks for a fish, won't give their son a snake instead. Or sons who ask their father for an egg will not give their fathers will not give them a scorpion. And even these fathers, even fathers who are sinful, will give good gifts. If that is true, then will not our Father in heaven, who is good and gracious and loving, give us great gifts? And it says, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? What a good God that we have. He wants us to ask. He wants us to talk to him and, and pray and communicate with him. And also, Jesus teaches about prayer in Luke chapter 18. Okay? I want you to flip there in your Bibles. We're in the same book in Luke, just in a different chapter. Chapter 18, read verse 1 to 8. I love this story in Luke chapter 18 about the persistent widow. I want to be like the persistent widow. She kept coming back to this judge asking for what she needed. She was persistent. She continued over and over and over again. And Jesus tells us that God will bring justice to those who cry out to him day and night. He wants us to cry out to him over and over and over again. He does not grow tired in hearing us. He loves to hear from his children. And so today, as we've learned about what Jesus has to say about prayer, I want to encourage you to talk to him. Talk to God, our Father in heaven, and tell him what you need. Ask for the things that you need. Cry out to, the, to him for the things that hurt you or even for the things that make you happy. Talk to God. And the cool thing is, is that it's Jesus teaching us these things. He's teaching us how to pray, but he is the very one who makes a way for us to talk to God. Jesus is the way to God. He is the, the way and the reason that we get to be with God now and forever. I hope that you'll talk to him today. See you next time.
Friends, I'm Mr. Caleb, and I'm here today to give you some questions about our Bible lesson for you to discuss with your parents, family, or caregivers. Now, feel free at any point to pause the video and take time to discuss these questions. So, grab your Bible and let's begin. The first question, the passage that goes with it, is Luke 11:8, And that reads, I tell you, that person will not get up, and he won't give you bread just because he is your friend, but because you keep bothering him. He will surely get up. He will give you as much as you need. And so the first question is, why did Jesus say the friend would help his neighbor even late at night? And the second question is from Luke 18, 4 through 5. For some time, the judge refused. But finally, he said to himself, I don't have any respect for God. I don't care what people think. But this widow keeps bothering me. So I will see that things are made right for her. If I don't, she will someday come and attack me. So why did the unjust judge do the right thing for the widow? And the last question is, will God always give us what we ask for when we pray? Speaking of praying, let me do that really quick, and then we'll be done. Dear God, thank you for this awesome day, Lord. Thank you for all the people watching this video. I pray that you would be with them and that you would bless them, Lord. And God, just give us your hand of guidance, Lord. It's in your name and for your glory we pray. Amen. If you'd like to see the answers to the questions, look in the description below on the Google Sites page. It should be listed under Elementary Answers to Questions. And that's it. Have a great day! the throne of mercy where would I kneel but at this cross of grace how great the love how strong the hand that holds us beautiful so beautiful so he
Hey friends, Miss Monica here, and I am so excited to give you an activity that goes along with our lesson for this week. So what you're gonna need is simply one sheet of paper and something to write with. It can be a pen, pencil, doesn't matter. So today we learned about prayer. One of the things that we learned about was that God loves to answer our prayers and that God gives us good gifts. Can you think of some good gifts that God has given you? I want to challenge you to take your piece of paper and write down every letter of the alphabet. A good gift or something that God has given you. So for example, under the A, we can put apples. Maybe B could be your baby brother, C could be your cat, D could be your dad, E could be earthworms. And I just want you to keep going through the whole alphabet and try to think of something for every single letter, okay? The Bible tells us that every good gift is from God. And we know that a lot of things that we see around us every single day was made by God. So after you've gone through your whole list, I just want you to sit and spend some time talking with God and thanking him for all of these good gifts that he has given you. Thank him especially for the gift of being able to talk with him anytime and anywhere. See you guys next week.